Breaking news. Today, North Korea has test-launched another ballistic missile in defiance of United Nations resolutions. The missile was launched from a location northwest of Pyongyang, the same place it's test-launched previous missiles. In the past two months, North Korea has had four failed ballistic missile launches. This one appears to be different, however. Instead of exploding minutes into its flight like the others, it appears to have successfully flown for about 30 minutes before falling into the sea close to Russian territory, apparently reaching an altitude of over 2,000 kilometers and a distance of over 700 kilometers, far higher and further than any they have tested before, suggests it could be a new type of missile. Although not an ICBM or intercontinental ballistic missile, which can reach hundreds of miles in altitude and distances of 8,000 kilometers, it is still a show of force by North Korea. Experts speculate it could have a range of 4,000 kilometers. This would enable the missile to reach not only targets in Japan, China and Russia, but also the US military bases on Guam in the Western Pacific. Coming just days after the inauguration of the South Korean president, Mr Moon, it hardly seems a coincidence as Kim Jong-un flagrantly ignores warnings by numerous countries to abandon his nuclear and ballistic missile programs. South Korea has now said dialogue with North Korea will only be possible when the North changes its attitude. With a country built around its military, this is unlikely. The US has immediately called for stronger sanctions against North Korea, with President Trump saying he cannot imagine Russia is pleased as the missile landed so close to Russian territory. The Russian President Vladimir Putin was concerned by the test, and China asked for all parties to show restraint. After five nuclear tests, and ongoing missile tests, as well as ongoing efforts to reduce the size of nuclear warheads, it only seems a matter of time before North Korea develops a viable nuclear ballistic missile. The US has strenuously stated they will not let this happen. With tensions escalating again following this new test, it is impossible to say what the coming days will bring in this ongoing crisis. The world is watching. Thanks for watching this report and don't forget to like and subscribe for further updates.